Hello everyone. Uh, myself, I am uh, Dr. Shiv Shankar. I am practicing medical oncology consultant at Raju Gandhi Cancer Institute. Uh, we have gathered here to uh, to create awareness about colorectal cancer. We all know that February is uh, March is a colorectal cancer awareness month. Uh, first of all, what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer, as the name suggests, it involves colon and rectum. Colon and rectum are the distal parts of the uh, intestine. They are also called as large intestine. Colon, basically uh, in the colon, in the colon is a large intestine in that processed food products from them, the water and nutrients are observed. And after that, in the rectum, it will be stored just before the excretion. So uh, if cancer involves either of the colon or rectum, it is called as a colorectal cancer. So why anybody develops colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer, basically either it may be due to uh, genetic or it may be due to some of the environmental risk factor. Genetic may be if already some inherited genes which may predispose to develop colorectal cancers like Lynch syndrome, IAPC syndrome. If any of these genes are present, they may develop. Usually they constitute very small number of patients, roughly around 10 to 20 percent. Majority of the cancers are sporadic in nature. That means that probably they are because of some of the environmental risk factors. Uh, these may be, uh, again, maybe some of the things in the food we consume or maybe uh, a physical inactivity, obesity, smoking, alcohol, all this may uh, predispose to colorectal uh, cancers. So what happens in colorectal cancer is basically uh, because of long-standing irritation or inflammation, uh, like in uh, inflammatory bowel disease such as uh, ulcerative disease or Crohn's disease, uh, there will be long-standing irritation or inflammation. This leads to development of a und uh, development of a polyps. Polyps are basically uncontrolled growth of the epithelium which lines the colorectal cancer. So once uh, this polyps arbors few more mutations, it may go even it may uh, get a other uh, potentials of uh, uh, cancer such as invasion, metastasis. So it becomes a full-blown uh, cancer. Just before becoming a full-blown cancer, it takes a long duration of time, probably in terms of years, before it becomes a cancer. So what information gives is, so it is a long, lengthy time process, maybe in terms of years. So it gives a very good window of opportunity for a doctors to screen patients for colorectal cancers. So before going into screening aspects, I'd like to also stress upon when do we suspect colorectal cancer? How do these pre patients present? And why majority of colorectal cancer present late in their diagnosis? Uh, late, uh, they are diagnosed very late. Why, why so? Because majority of symptoms of colorectal cancer may be something like blood in stools, altered bowel habits. Maybe there is a recent change in their bowel movements. May they, they complain of a constipation. Uh, or uh, blood in stools, weight loss, loss of appetite, they may come uh, present with a, a, a such complaint. So usually in the initial stage, they may be often misdiagnosed as a irritable, irritable bowel syndrome or hemorrhoids or something else. So often these are missed and it may lead to advanced disease at diagnosis. So how do we pick up and how do we screen these diseases? To screen, basically, uh, we need to understand if persisting if the symptoms are the such symptoms are persisting for more than uh, two or three weeks in such scenarios it is advisable to have a proper examination apart from that if somebody is having a inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease or if somebody is having a history of a first degree relative having a colorectal cancer or if somebody has a previous history of polyps or uh, if somebody inherits a genes like APC or Lynch syndrome, these people should undergo screening. And in normal individual, usually various guidelines suggest either more than 45 years or 50 years, they should get evaluated for a colorectal cancer. So if we screen, if we detect the cancer in a polyp state, they do not require a big surgeries or chemotherapies. Usually it can be contained in a very limited uh, techniques like polypectomy. And uh, apart from this, uh, certain lifestyle modifications like healthy diet, may have good uh, body weight uh, by consuming a good amount of fruits, 
fiber rich diet avoiding smoking avoiding alcohol intake all this may also reduce the risk of having a colorectal cancers so this is all about colorectal cancers i hope that more and more we communicate about these cancers and spread awareness so thereby improve screen uh, improve uh, chances of early diagnosis and more and more of cures with this i conclude my talk thank you everyone